this video, I'll show you how the GPT formula, GPT image works. So we're going to do a very simple example. We're going to type GPT image. And then we're going to see that we have five parameters. The first parameter is the prompt, basically what image you want to create. The seed, if you want to do multiple generations and you just need some randomness. The quality, if you want a high definition or not. Uh, the size and the style. Uh, as always, you can find all the examples, the parameters here. So what we're going to do is we're going to ask image of the cat. So what this is going to do, it's going to take the prompt, it's going to, it's going to send it to uh, DALI3 and DALI3 will return a URL and then we can display the URL inside of a spreadsheet. This can be very useful uh, when combined with multiple. So here it's returned. So we can click, we'll be able to see the generation of our cat. The images are also saved in your Google Drive if you need them for later. This can be very powerful if you do GPT list, for example, three descriptions of cats. It will return free and then you can do a GPT image on each one of them. So another uh, interesting uh, thing you can do if you want to directly see the images in your spreadsheet is to do image and then do v6 and it will display the image directly inside of your spreadsheet. So this can be useful if you want to quickly check um, your results. All right, so that's it. The next video, we're gonna see GPT file.